Today we're taking a look at one of my coolest, my rarest, and my most dangerous species of ants I have. This is Neoponera villosa, also known as the Texas bullet ant or the hairy panther ant. As you can see, these ants are absolutely huge. Even though they're black, they have a sort of golden iridescence to them that makes them stand out and look really gorgeous, especially when a light is shining on them. These ants are native all the way from southern Texas into South America, as far down as Brazil or possibly even Argentina. Being a mostly tropical ant, they really appreciate high levels of humidity and they really, really, really love water. I've observed that in my colony, if I let their water dish run out for more than a couple of days and don't provide them with a source of hydration, workers will, be will begin rapidly dying and they'll mostly clump around the water tower in order to preserve their humidity levels. Now, I collected this colony approximately a month and a half ago to two months. And when I initially collected them, they had absolutely no eggs no larvae and no pupa. I put them in their current nest, which I'll show in a bit, which is a homemade Waitong nest. And for an entire month, they did not lay any eggs. I was going pretty concerned at that point because I had other friends who had colonies that were laying eggs uh, pretty much immediately, yet mine weren't. But after about a month of not laying eggs, they started finally laying and now this is what they have. As you can see, their egg pile is absolutely massive, and I'd actually argue that this is probably the biggest Neoponera egg pile anywhere in the world. I don't think I've seen a captive colony with this many eggs anywhere, and if someone has a colony with more eggs in mind, please let me know, but it's something that I'm very proud of considering that they, they started off with absolutely nothing. Now they have probably over 100 to 200 eggs, and as soon as all these eggs begin hatching, they're going to have an insane amount of larva and they're going to be needing an insane amount of protein as well. This right here is one of my colony's three queens and they're very, very similar to the worker. They're only slightly bigger than the workers and the main difference is that the middle segment of their body, the thorax where the wings are attached, is more curved whereas in a worker it's pretty much flat. As you can see, this queen does have slightly noticeable wing scars and she's absolutely gorgeous. Now, the reason that my colony was able to produce this many eggs in literally not more than two, two to three weeks is because this colony actually has three queens. Um, Neoponera velosa are a polygynous species, which I did not know until recently. But yes, they can have multiple queens and they have a dominance hierarchy in which there's usually one uh, alpha queen and the others will uh, sort of bow down to her. Uh, their body language is really interesting to observe. Here you can really make out the wing scars on her thorax and you can see that it's pretty curved compared to the regular workers because that's where her wing muscles are and obviously where her wings used to be. One fun game that I like to play with myself sometimes is trying to spot all three queens in the colony as fast as possible. Uh, when I was in the field collecting these ants, it was pretty confusing at first because I had never seen a queen in person. So being able to distinguish the workers from the queens was definitely a challenge until you get used to you know, their overall body structure and the very slight differences between them. Okay, so this is definitely something very weird and something that I just observed for the first time as I was recording this video. It seems that this ant right here, which is actually a worker, is laying an egg. I don't know if this means that these uh, workers could possibly be fertilized, given that they were wild collected and Neoponera do have gamer gates, um, or if it means that the eggs that will, the larvae that will hatch for, from these eggs will later turn into male elates um, since this colony is already pretty large. But um, let's see her lay this egg and see what she does with it. You can sort of see it coming out from underneath her. She's about to pick it up with her mandibles right there. You can see her handling the eggs with her front legs. And she just picked up the egg. And 
comes. Let's see if she brings it to the main egg pile now. Okay, she does attach the egg to the rest in the pile. So it looks like workers in this colony are contributing to egg laying as well, which is very interesting. I had never observed this before until this very moment. I'll definitely keep you updated on whether or not um, some of these eggs that then develop into larvae will result in male elates being born. But as you can see, this is the nest I have them in. It's a homemade horizontal wide tongue nest that I made for them. Um, as you can see, there's still a lot of space for them left. But with the massive egg pile that they have, over 200 by now probably, uh, once all these uh, eggs start hatching into larvae and those larvae start growing, eventually spinning cocoons and hatching, a good portion of the nest will be filled very, very quickly. So I'm not sure how long it will last. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please be sure to comment, subscribe, and leave a like. Um, as you can see, I'm just getting this channel started, but I definitely plan on posting content regularly on here. I have a ton of cool colonies to show off this summer. I'll be running a ton of experiments as well, trying to combine workers of different species and maybe even creating multi-species colonies. And I'll be collecting a ton of queens as well. So please be sure to follow along for the journey and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these ants. They're definitely one of my favorite colonies I have at the moment and I can't wait to show you guys once all these eggs start hatching. Um, but until next time, I'll see you then. Also, if there's any specific stuff you guys would like to see me make a video on, such as care for a particular colony, me just featuring a certain species, or just any questions you may have, please let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to take that into consideration. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.